Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but dark elves get on best they can. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no one your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. On your right! <laughs> We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Alpha. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. They truly know what they're doing. Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the so elf... So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you.
I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid light. Yes, some things don't change. No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Ah! Ah! Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well. That's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Night Realm, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. <laughs> well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends would be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... Best just to let these two do their thing, brother. Another one! Left side! on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits.
temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These owls use all kinds of light to enhance the temple. themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up they go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. <laughs> Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. More Light Elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm. Scalpa! Here! Get back! Light left alone. The light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. I'm not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Continue our set, yes. Lyricism from the mind of Fasia. I suppose I'll leave you to it then.
other side. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. Alright, join them. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Spider! Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm... Still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Stop! 
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war stopped him long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong way. But I'll find perhaps, but not necessarily for him. No! Wow. Those were all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. Yeah. Right? You still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. <gasps> central chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Ah, the 
light of Alfheim. Stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said he... You went inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf came... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this world? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Thanks for grabbing this. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Want something in particular? May 
it strike true. Might be my best piece yet today. Very good. I'll take him. Hey, Sindri. Wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. <laughs> Very messy. Anyway, good luck! The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive?
she lied. Roa lied? Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. Stop Ragnarok. But we can if win Asgard it. is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Four more alive. Focus, Atreus. <clears throat> uh, 
This way. Okay. No. It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf... ...and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice! I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Ah, Fallen! Ah! Hold on! Over here! Your chain! Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I... No. 
I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Look, I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger.